Hello video creators, welcome to StoryShim. In today's tutorial I will show you how to create this clean and simple logo reveal animation in Premiere Pro, right after the message of our sponsor Envado Elements. It doesn't matter if you create videos for a living or just for a hobby, you need to know about Envado Elements. And that's because they offer millions of high quality assets for your video projects, all within one single subscription. This includes stock videos, images and photos, music and sound effects, but also video templates like logo animations for Premiere Pro and After Effects. So I can highly recommend you to give them a try. And if you use my temporary discount code in the video description, you can try them for a couple of dollars. Ok, now it's time to move over to Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere I've already got two versions of my logo ready on the timeline. And I'm going to start by adding a color mat. Inside the project panel click on the new items icon and then select color mat. I will accept the default settings and click OK. Next you can select a color, I will pick the color of my logo and then move this close to white. Next you can give this color mat a name, I will name this one background and then click OK. And after that you will find this color mat here in the project panel. You can now drag this over to the timeline. And if you want you could also stylize the background by adding a bit of vignetting inside the Lumetri color panel. Not too much of course, let's keep this one a bit subtle. Ok that's perfect, let's now stack the logos on top of the background layer on the timeline. For now I only want to see the icon version, so I'm going to disable visibility for layer 3. Next I'm going to switch over to the rectangle tool which you can find here and then inside the program monitor draw a rectangle. You can draw in the program monitor by left clicking and by holding the shift key you can get a perfect square. And then move over to the essential graphics panel where we can center align the shape. And then move back to the timeline where I'm going to stack this graphics layer neatly on top of the other ones. Now make sure that the graphics layer is selected and then move over to the effect controls panel. Then inside the vector motion section click on anchor point and inside the program monitor move the anchor point on top of the square. And now we can start animating the shape by enabling keyframes in the effect controls panel. And by enabling keyframes I mean a lot of keyframes, so be warned. First I'll enable position keyframes and then by deselecting uniform scale we can enable scale height and scale width. This will create the first set of keyframes. We can move this first set of keyframes somewhere over here, then go a couple of frames back and then reposition the square out of the frame. This gives us this simple animation moving the square from the left into the frame. The next adjustment is for scale height, I'll increase the value until the height is enough to cover the top and bottom of the logo. And after that I will lower the width to make the line thinner. That's perfect, let's now select and copy this position keyframe with Ctrl or Command C and then paste it here with Ctrl or Command V. Then skip a few frames forward and change position, move it to the left and this will create another keyframe. And again move forward, copy this keyframe and paste it, then move forward again and copy the third keyframe and paste it. Ok so all these copy and paste actions makes the line now move from the left to the right and back again, like this. Next I'll move back to the last position keyframe and then create a new keyframe for the current value of scale height and scale width. Then move a few frames forward and create another set of keyframes with value 100, the original square shape. And again move a few frames forward and change them both to 0. Let's take a quick look at what we've created so far. If you want to make the animation go a bit faster or slower, you can change the position of the keyframes to change the timing. And if you want to make the animation go a bit more smoother, you can right click the first keyframe and then select Ease Out. And for the second keyframe you need to select Ease In. And you should repeat these same steps for every set of keyframes. So Ease Out for the first keyframe and Ease In for the second one. Anyway, I'll fast forward this one so you don't have to wait. And by the way, for the mid keyframe you can select Bezier. And changing the keyframes to ease keyframes will make the animation look like this. In the next steps we're going to reveal and hide the logos. We're going to start with the icon logo which is still visible. I will select the layer on the timeline and then move over to the effect controls panel. In there I will click on this pen tool icon or free draw bezier tool and then draw a mask. You can now left click in the program monitor and draw a mask like this. It doesn't have to be very precise as long as it covers the logo. 
And because we want to reveal the logo, we're going to set this mask to inverted. And after that, I'll click the stopwatch icon next to mask path to enable keyframes. Inside the effect controls panel, I'm going to zoom in and then skip one frame forward and then change the position of the mask. This will create the next keyframe and we can repeat the same steps a couple of times until the logo is completely revealed. And then I'll move a bit further in time until the point where the line goes back again. And then we're going to repeat the same steps until the logo is covered. That should be more than enough, let's have a look at what we've got so far. Excellent, so now we can move over to the next logo, which is on layer 3, which we need to enable first. Now I'm going to search for the frame where the line starts to move to the right again. We want to reveal this version of the logo when the other one is covered. So that's why I'm going to make the next mask on the other side of the line. So let's select the pen tool and then draw a mask. Again, the shape doesn't matter that much as long as it covers the logo. And just like with the other logo, I'm going to enable keyframes and set it to inverted. Next I'm going to search for the frame where the line starts to move back. And that's where we're going to add the first keyframe, then skip a frame forward and then change the position and repeat the steps. And we're going to repeat this step until the second logo is revealed entirely. And that, my friends, was the final step. Let's have a look at the results. And if you add some sound effects, like the ones that I've got from Envado Elements, you'll get something like this. And that's it for this Premiere Pro tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please like the video, I would really appreciate that. And finally, as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.